when you're out and about and you don't want to disturb others, you put earbuds in and listen to sound, right? Thanks for coming to watch the video. If you're new here, welcome, and I hope we can earn your subscription today. So I've been a Samsung user and kind of like Samsung products. Have a Samsung watch, Galaxy Active 2 watch, and I have Galaxy Buds Pro. Now I bought these a while ago when they were a bit more expensive. They have dropped approximately 50 bucks uh, in cost. I got the silver, as you can see. They come in a black and a, a some kind of blue, I forget what they call that color, phantom or something. The buds can be purchased with a case, a charging case. The case has a type C port on the back. And of course it can sit on your wireless charger. So it's a nice thing to have, I should say. The earbuds, I think they're great. Um, very good noise cancellation. The sound is awesome. Bass, everything just crystal clear. If you have a good tight fit. So that's the important thing. So this really isn't a, a review on the buds. I just thought I'd throw that in there. I think they are good. This is about how to connect them to your Microsoft Surface Duo and Duo 2. So give it a watch. You will want to open the Samsung Galaxy wearable app. You will then want to select the menu. That's the hamburger icon. I will highlight it. Next, you want to select add new device. You will then be presented with an add new device pop-up. Select add. This will start the process of scanning for nearby devices for you to add. Now select Galaxy Buds Pro from the list of found devices. This will connect and a pop-up for pair will appear. Select pair. The pairing process is started. You can select whether to send diagnostic information. You can then select continue. Then a pop-up will appear asking you if you want to link Galaxy Buds Pro Manager to your Galaxy Buds Pro. Select OK, and you're set. As the dialog will tell you, you are linked. You will then be taken to the control panel. You can see things such as your battery level for each uh, bud. You can see the noise controls. You can also uh, set whether to use voice detection, block touches to the earbud, uh, and then set some of the uh, earbud settings as you can see here. So you will want to dive in and explore everything. Okay, hopefully you found that helpful. If you did, thumbs up, give it likes. Algorithm likes that. Uh, comment, tell me what you think. If you have these or if you have these and have purchased uh, another brand and you think it might be better. Obviously, you can pay more and get better, I think. Bose probably has a lot better, but they were a lot more expensive. It looks like from what I'm seeing that uh, you can pay half the cost now and get maybe near the quality. Tell me if that's the case. I have no idea. I haven't, I haven't purchased any other high end in a while. I did replace some buds that uh, I would say were kind of mid range to maybe a little higher than mid range, but weren't near the price of these or the quality of these. So I'd like to hear. I don't have enough experience with them. So comments. Of course, share, let other people know if you think it's helpful. Uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And most of all, thanks for watching.